Hey YouTube, welcome back to Unix TCG, and today um, we are going to make a quick video about the crafting system in Dragon Ball Super Fusion World, the digital client. Um, we're gonna do that real quick. I have been overwhelmed by trying to stream as much as I have. I think I did like a 12 hour stream yesterday and then slept for five hours. I don't know how people do content and streaming at the same time. I'm gonna have to work on my balance, so bear with me. Uh, shout outs to Aspira, because I see him doing it. Shout outs to Eggman, because I see him doing it. But at the same time, we're gonna put that video out right now. I hope you guys like it. Let's see if we can get this video over 100 likes like we do per most of our videos. And yeah, so basically a lot of people are being confused. I've been getting the question a lot on streams about how the, uh, the crafting works. And it's a very, 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 very weird thing. So I'm gonna do one thing here, and one thing another in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna basically explain to you it right here and I'm gonna show you some video footage. So essentially the way this game works, you open packs and you can get commons, uncommons, rares, SRs, and, um, and uh, SCRs. Now, every time you get a card, it just goes in your bank. But when you have four or more copies of a specific card, and not just a specific card, a specific rarity of that card, you are going to get a wild card for that rarity. Now, once you have enough wild cards, you're gonna be able to craft a card. And what I mean by enough is it's not like, like if you have four my SRs, right? You are not going to get a wild card for the SR slot the moment you get a fifth my. You're gonna get like 20 out of 100 points. For an SR card and then so basically what you need is five additional dupes of an SR card in order to craft one SR card now the other part to this is that rarities do matter um, if you guys get a my three my's and then three alt art my's you will not get wild card points because you technically have three of each copy you don't have six of the same card you have three of each rarity and that can get very frustrating because there are a couple sets where i have i have like three vegeta srs but two parallel or two uh two shiny animated vegetas and then um i also have things like i have three mys three my srs one animated my sr and one alt art my sr so i don't technically have four of any my so i will not get wild cards when i pull them that's just kind of the weird part about this. Now, the part where it hurts the most is that parallel leaders do not count as anything other than leaders. So I pulled my second parallel cooler leader and it just gave me leader wildcard points, which sucks because I think that parallel leaders should dust into non, or should dust into parallel leader crafting, but you cannot craft parallels, you can't at all. So with that being said, I'm gonna hop into the video um, this is going to be a part from my stream. I'm going to show you guys exactly how this process works. All right, guys, stay tight. I'm almost done with these packs. And then uh, and then we can show you guys how crafting works. All right, so now that we've got all that, we're going to go over to the store, right? So here's what you guys have been waiting for. So you guys saw how there's the wild card, right? Um, What's going to happen here is I'm going to pull and hopefully get Gohan's alt art. Gohan's alt art leader. So we're gonna pull five packs, right? Get the red flash. Oh, purple flash, okay, okay, okay. So here's what we do, we're gonna go in here. None of these cards are going to be new because I have everything currently. Man, not me pulling double of Cooler's alt art and not Gohan. Sorry guys, I'm a little, I'm a little burnt about that. A little crispy. All right, that's another Goku Black. All right, so now that we've pulled all of those, I'm gonna close this. So you see that? This is the breakdown screen. Okay, so just being here because um, this part always flashes. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't understand the wildcard system. This page goes by way too fast and even though there's a skip button, it just starts skipping it for you after like five seconds. So here is the wild card thing. As you can see, it's split down between leader card, common, uncommon, rare, super rare, and secret. Now, if you guys notice, I pulled two SRs 
in this uh in these five packs however um goku black was base rarity and i already have four of him whereas the goku sr was um animated rarity it was base sr animated rarity which means it did not count towards my already playset of uh of sr gokus therefore i only got one new sr card which means uh, outside that has already been a completed playset. Which means I only got 20 points. I pull no SCR, so as you can see, I am one additional SCR because I have more. I have four of each one. I am one additional SCR from being uh, one of the wild cards for SCRs, which is kind of cool. I can print one later, maybe in set two. But I have right now four Goku's, four Gohan's, and one Alt Art of each. So I have pulled three additional Gokus and Gohans that have been base rarity, or sorry, four, and that's what makes my 80 points. This is what gets people annoyed because they feel like if you if you pull a dupe SCR, you should be able to make the other SCR, but in reality, you need five dupes. You need five dupes of an SCR once you've already reached four copies of it just to craft one other that is a bit egregious um i get dust and everything but that is that is a bit egregious also like i said i pulled a leader card and it just gave me i get pulled another parallel cooler card and it just straight up gave me 20 wild card leader points which can only craft base leaders and unlike master duel which is i think something you do have to compare this to every now and then you cannot just craft a card over and over again in hopes of getting its alt art once you have four of a card, it does not let you craft it, and you cannot delete it to craft another copy. So you are stuck with whatever you have, and you can't just try to fish for alt arts you have to give. So I hope that part gets changed. Um, I'm going to see what I can do. I know like it's not like, oh, I can really do something, something, but maybe I can get the word to the right people. Um, then you have the wild card. Um, yeah, you have these things you can see. So based off of this, I pulled four, uh, two leaders that I already have maxed out already have that's tight um i pulled now it says 500 which means uh that divisible by 20 uh 50 is 10 so i pulled what if 50 yeah 50 is 10 that means i pulled wow math is hard 200 math is hard 50 is 10 so 10 times 10 <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm running off of so little sleep let's skip over comments a <laughs> common math issue um it looks like i pulled four uncommons that i have um i pulled uh 160 in the rare is interesting so 20 times 80 so i mean or times eight so i pulled eight rares that i already have um one sr they already have so that's that's actually pretty cool i mean what we're still not doing the math on commons I, you can't make me the point is that is what the math is for that so that's why a lot of people are mad to craft SRs and SCRs, you have to have an abundance of luck already just to craft what is essentially the pity system. I'm not going to hold you. By the time you are able to craft an SCR and an SR, you probably don't need to craft them anymore. That is the issue with this. It's not like a pity system. It's like an overabundant system. And worse yet, if these don't allow us to craft set two cards, Wally, we are finished because there will never be a time to use these. So I hope that gets addressed. Um, we're gonna move on to the rest of this video and we're gonna, yeah, keep going. All of these cards that say wild card are new. Or are, um, are dupes. The ones that aren't dupes, I just got my play set of these. Cause I, oh wait, this is an animated one. So I now have three normals and two animateds. Okay, three normals, two animateds. Unfortunately, the leader cards, even though it's the parallel leader card, it got turned into normal dust, I think. So then you have this, which is another animated Goku, which is why it's not wild. And this is a wild SR, and these are wild rares and uncommons and stuff. And even the Goku Black, where is he? I thought the Goku Black should, oh yeah, the Goku Black is another wild SR, or wild card. So now that uh, you guys saw that little screen where it was the points, and I'm gonna, in a video, I'm gonna have that edited. Those points are what you can use. I um, I wanna see if it can, that, that screen went by really quick, but every time you get something, it's not like one extra SR is going to be a, uh, an, a wild card SR. You need like five extra SRs to make one wild card SR. 
So that's what's happening here. That's what's rough. You need to pull... You would need to pull four Gohans and I think like five more Gohans that you already have to be able to craft one Goku. That's what people are upset about. So I am going to go in one more time. So that is that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to showcase that, show you guys what's up. If you want this to hopefully change, I need you guys to like this video. I need you guys to put your comments on here. Keep it as clean as possible. Um, I do want to be able to potentially put attention on this video through the right routes. And um, I don't want people just sitting here going off negatively. I want people to put their constructed opinions. I want people to put their ideas. I want people to be realistic while hopeful. I want people to make this a place where when the right eyes look at this, they can just go down in the comment section and mark off what they need to mark off in their boxes. I want this to be a feedback comment section so that we can hopefully get some change before it's too late. So yeah, I want you guys to look down there, do your thing, let people know how you feel about this system. Let me know if this helped you understand it. Um, and then yeah, let's make this video as big as possible. Share it, like it, comment on it, put it in your discourse, share it to your friends that play this client, and hopefully, this can be seen by the right people and by hopefully i mean i'm gonna do my best to force it to the right people uh so yeah that being said because of that i'm going to for this particular video skip the patreon appreciation post only because i want this to be something that they can watch over and over again without thinking it's like yeah this is just a thing so yeah let me know in the comments how you feel about the craft system what changes you would like to see about it and um yeah with that being said, I will close out this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video later. And uh, I'll also stream. I'm going to stream tonight. Uh, probably going to be closer to 8 p.m. I'll probably stream from like 8 p.m. to like, like 5, 3, 3 a.m. or something like that. We'll do something like that. But yeah, I'll see you guys.